So Cheryl, here's a mystery that's confusing his co-workers and leaving many of his constituents steaming mad. Representative David Stover is allegedly missing from his post a month after his re-election to office. It remains the top story on 11live.com right now. Yeah, so tonight, uh, one can seem to find, we just can't find out where this guy is, the Newman Republican. So Kaylin Ross set out to find out where he could be. It started with a question. Where is Representative David Stover? People in his district kept telling me they couldn't get a hold of him. My search for the lawmaker took me from the State House to Noonan to Europe. The lights were off at Representative Stover's legislative office across from the Capitol. They're out of session, so I tried to track down the lawmaker at his district office in Noonan. The official address he has listed on his house biography is a UPS store. The clerk there told me he hasn't seen Representative Stover for months and he doesn't have a way to contact him. His voting record is available online though, so I looked to see what votes he cast and which ones he missed. In the 2018 session, official records show he was absent for 39 votes. 15 of those absences were unexcused during a 40-day session. He defended himself on his professional Facebook page, telling constituents he still has to make money outside of session and his IT job takes him out of state. My next stop, Stover's house, to see if he's home. Well, his house is locked up and for sale. The property listing has been on the market for three months and picture after picture show empty rooms. The house is vacant. So I expanded my search. I mean really expanded, all the way to the United Kingdom. According to Facebook, he married a woman from the UK in August. There are photos congratulating the couple and custom chocolates with their wedding date inscribed. Representative Stover announced his engagement to the woman one month after his divorce to his wife of 20 years was finalized, according to court documents. And the relationship with his new fiance got serious quickly. So serious, he told a family court judge in the UK he wanted to adopt her foreign children and move them to Georgia. The letter written to the judge is written on official House of Representatives stationery. Stover makes sure to tell the judge he's an elected official who owns a 5,400 square foot home, the same home that's now empty and up for sale in Noonan. He makes a point to talk about the kids' education, telling the judge he would save for them to go to college here in the U.S., explaining they would qualify for the Hope Scholarship. The same lawmaker, running for re-election, shared an ad on his House Facebook page accusing Democrats of wanting to give illegal aliens access to the Hope Scholarship. Stover concluded the letter, telling the judge his fiance had an offer for a full visa, but if the judge denied their custody request to take the British kids to Georgia, he would immediately resign his position as state representative. That letter was sent to the judge in March. The judge ruled against Stover and his fiance May 10, 2018, telling them the kids from her first marriage had to stay in the UK. Twelve days later, Stover ran in the primary election for District 71. He did not withdraw his name, despite telling the judge he would resign if the ruling didn't go his way. He got married here in Georgia August 26th. He was re-elected to his seat November 6th. That's six months after he told the judge he would resign. A complaint sent to the Georgia House Ethics Committee claims Stover has been living in the UK since then. So we checked his more recent attendance records. He did not show up to the General Assembly's special session for Hurricane Michael relief, where the legislature voted to give millions of dollars to help storm-ravaged Georgians. Georgia watchdog William Perry says all of it is wrong. The letter is appalling. The fact that such personal business is put on state letterhead shows me that he's willing to abuse his power, and I think it's absolutely disgusting. There's no excuse for that. Perry says the fact that Stover just didn't show up to the special session designed to give hurricane victims relief is inexcusable. I just can't understand the selfishness involved that this guy must have in order to have just completely fallen down on his duties. All right, so that was Caitlin Ross reporting. Representative Stover did reply to Caitlin this afternoon. We are going to have his full response.